Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. In this very short video, I'll try to clarify the confusion about left hand rule and right hand rule uh, regarding motors and generators. So, I'll instead of taking conventional rotating motor and generator, uh, which I'm sure you have seen and learned. I'll explain through what is called linear DC motor. So this is these are the two rails, and we have a bar, ro rolling bar, placed on this, and this is connected to a battery through a resistor and a switch, and this can be represented through a circuit diagram, which is like this. Again, this is the rail, and this is the rolling bar. These are the magnetic flux lines coming from north to south or in this case uh, the magnetic flux line is going into the page or into the screen. Now look at the circuit when the switch is closed the current will flow through this resistor and through this bar and to the negative terminal. Now that when we are supplying a current, uh, there will be a force induced. We know that in the magnetic field, if a conductor carries current, a force is exerted. So that will that force will move the bar. Now the question is, in which direction will it move it to the right, or will it move it to the left? Now for that, we can use or we have to use the left hand rule. So for motor we will use left hand rule. The thumb represents the force or the direction of movement. The second finger represents the flux density and the middle finger represents the current. Now since these diagrams don't match with the our circuit in our case the flux lines are going in so I have tried to use my fingers so the, the second finger or the field is going into the page and the current here coming from top to bottom so the current is coming from top to bottom and so thumb represents the direction of the movement so from here we can conclude that this bar will move to the right similarly if you take example of a generator now this is generator because we are using a force to move this bar so if a bar or a conductor moves in a magnetic field it induces a voltage and that is why it is becomes generator so in this case we are moving this bar towards the right hand side uh, with a 30 newton force and we have to find out what will be the direction of current. Will it go from bo bottom to top or from top to bottom? So in this case now we have to now use uh, Fleming's right hand rule. So this is right hand rule. The thumb again represents the motion or direction of motion. This second finger is the flux and uh, the magnetic field and um, the third finger is the current direction. Now again this does not exactly match so you have to twist your hand to match it uh, with the circuit given. I have make it, made an effort. So now see this is the force towards right. So thumb is the force We're pointing towards right. The field is inside the page. So the field is inside the page and therefore the middle finger will represent the direction of current so current is going from bottom to top and another example of generator now is, instead of pulling it towards right if you pull it towards left then what will be the current direction same technique so now we are using the uh, right hand rule again the second finger points to the field and the, the thumb now points to towards left uh, because the applied force is towards left 
and so the middle finger now you can see is pointing down that means this is the current so the current will flow from top to bottom so I uh, uh, I hope you mm, now have learned the concept of left hand rule and right hand rule uh, the concept is applicable in linear motor as well as normal motor also motor and generators rotating motors and generators also thank you now before we go into solving the problem uh, let me clarify left hand and right hand rule there is a lot of confusion on the uh, net about left hand rule and right hand rule I'll make an effort the left hand rule is used for motors let it be clear some people say it is the same no it is not same but let's be clear that we'll use left hand rule for the case of a motor and as you can see in this direction if the current is flowing from here down here then we have to determine the force so if we use this method and since this diagram does not represent uh, exactly what we have in our case the uh, field is into the page or into the screen so I have used uh, my finger so this is representing the field and the uh, middle finger is representing the current so the current is going down and therefore the force will be on the right hand side shown by the thumb so this is uh, the case that in case of a motor we use the left hand rule to find the direction of movement but in case of a generator now here the, it is a generator it is being pulled by some kind of a force so in, in case of a generator we need to find the direction of the current in the bar and for that we will use the right hand rule so right hand rule again uh, this exactly does not represent our diagram so I have tried to draw it so my uh, this finger is towards the field inside the screen and my thumb is pointing the force so it is pulled towards right and therefore the middle finger is showing the direction of current so this is how the current will flow when the force is applied towards the right hand side let's see another scenario of generator now in this case the pull is towards the left hand side and then we have to find the current uh, uh, direction again we'll use the right hand uh, rule for the generator so my thumb is showing the force the second finger is showing the field inside the page and therefore the middle finger is showing the direction of current so in this case now the current will flow towards the bottom or from top to bottom so if you keep this in mind then uh, uh, all your queries about the f direction of current flow or the direction of movement uh, of the bar will be clear <coughs> 